Now let's talk about how we share a Google Calendar. You may want to share a calendar with one or two people, or you may need to share it with a group of people. If you have a calendar for your classroom, you might want to share it with the parents in your classroom, or if you um, are a coach, you may want to share it with the people on your team and their parents. Let me show you a couple of different ways in which we can share calendars. So I have my after school tech training calendar, and I'm going to go to click on the three little dots and choose settings and sharing. The first thing I'm going to do is scroll down here to share with specific people or groups. So if I just want to share my calendar with one or two people, then I can click here and click add people and start typing in who you want to share that with. And then you have some permission settings when it comes to what these people you're sharing the calendar with can actually do. So let's take a look at these. So the first option, I'm going to start at the bottom and work up, is make changes and share manage sharing. This means that the person that you're sharing it with, if they have these permissions, can add, delete, or edit any events on that calendar, and they can also share this calendar with other people. Next up is manage, or make changes to events. In this case, they can make changes to existing events, add new events, or delete events from the calendar, but they can't share it with anyone else. Then there is see all event details. This means that they can see all of the events on the calendar, they know when the meetings are, what times they are, but they can't edit anything on the calendar. And then the last option is see only free or busy. This means that they can actually see um, just when you have a meeting scheduled, but they can't see what the meeting is, who the meeting is with, or any details for that meeting. Okay, so choose whatever settings you may want for that person. And then when you hit send, it's actually going to send them an email inviting them to join your calendar and have access to it. Okay, now you may want to be able to share your calendar with a large group of people and kind of make it public. So let's go up here now and look at access permissions for events. By default, when you create a calendar with your school account, it's going to make it available to the Murray Independent School District. And the sharing permission, permissions for this particular um, type of sharing are only two. You can either see the event details or you can see free or busy. They can't make changes. They can't share the calendar. Okay. You also may want to make it available to the public, people outside of the Murray Independent School District. Okay. So I'm going to click this button. It's going to give me a little warning that says, hey, this is going to be public to the world. You sure you want to do this? I'm going to hit OK. And again, you still only have those free or busy or the see all event details options. Okay. Now I can get this shareable link. So let me click here and copy this link. And I'm going to go to an incognito window, which will look like I'm not logged in, so I can test and see if someone outside of our school district could see this. And so I'm going to paste that URL in, and I'm going to hit return, and I automatically can see that that did not work, because it is asking me to sign in to Google Calendar. So what that link that I just got is, this link here, it is a link to the calendar, however, you would still have to have a Google account, a Gmail account of some sort. You would be required to log in with your Google account in order to see that calendar. And that's really not what we want because not all parents, not all community members, not all people that you may be sharing this calendar with have a Google account. And so you want to make sure that you're not limiting who can see this if you need it to be public. So I'm going to hit cancel. I am going to leave this checked. But then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go all the way down here to where I see integrate calendar. And now I have this public URL to this calendar. I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go back again to an incognito window so I can test it and see if it works. And when I paste this one in, I get this calendar. It shows up and I can see it. And remember, as events are added to the after school tech training, it's a live calendar, so it will automatically update and those events will show up. And now anyone that has that link will be able to see this calendar and be able to see the events that are happening on the calendar. Okay, so that's how you would share this calendar 
with the public without them having to log in is to choose this public URL of the calendar. In a later video, we will talk about how we can embed calendars into other Google tools such as Google Sites. But for now, just know that you can share a Google Calendar by inviting specific people, or you could make it public and then choose the public URL and share that out so that people could see your calendar.